Well, welcome back to Osceola, Nebraska. What a playoff game this has been so far. Number seven, Osceola leading it over number 10, BDS, 22-14 to begin the second half. By the way, folks, that was our halftime show presented by Nordic Supply, your full-service agronomy specialists. But what a game so far it has been as we're about to begin the second half. By the way, folks, this is not our only game of the of, of the night. Number 9, Clarkson Lee, and number 8, Johnson County Central. Coming up right after this at 6 p.m., 5.45 p.m. pregame right here on Old Red. But what a fun game this should be in the second half. I mean, what a game it's been so far in the first, but this second half has the looks of having an incredible ending. I mean, a very memorable ending for both of these teams, whether they're going to be happy about it or not. So, Osceola is going to get the football to begin the second half because they did kick off to BDS to begin the first. We'll see what happens. By the way, folks, this game is brought to you by Tyson Hissong, your State Farm Insurance agent in Hebron, Ranky Manufacturing, Nutrient Ag Solutions, profit from their experience and visit your Nutrient Ag Solutions locations today. Elf's Well Drilling, brooming, Bruning Lumber, Bruning motor, motor Service as well, Shickley Lumber Company, Bruning Bank, member FDIC, Fortify Group Insurance and in Real Estate with offices in Geneva, Shickley and Davenport, and Bruning Grain and Feed Company. So one half in the book and one to go. So BDS to kick it off to begin the second half. And we are underway. 24 minutes in total to go, plus possible overtime in this game. Osceola leads at 22-14. This is time to look at our adjustment of the game presented by Tatro Chiropractic in Fairbury and Deschler. The adjustment of the game that both teams need for Osceola. They need to keep on doing the same thing. The one thing that they need to work on is making sure those penalties don't come back to bite them. Those holdings and illegal block in the back, some ineligible man downfield. And for BDS, as we actually get the first play, Gustafson running to the far sideline on a design quarterback run, and he picks up about 9 or 10. They're actually going to say move those chains. First down for Osceola. And the Tatro Chiropractic and Fairbrain Deschler adjustment of the game for BDS is converting on fourth down conversions. They're actually one for four today on fourth down conversions. They have not done too well with those, and those are drive killers, both literally and metaphorically, too. So first play of the second half was a 10-yard run by Cale Gustafson. Will he go for it again? Matt Demers lined up to his left. They give it to Demers, running on the far sideline, cutting up field and getting about four yards, second and four out to the 20, or excuse me, second and six out to the 29-yard line of Osceola. Well, if Osceola scores here, that would be really, really a huge momentum boost for the Bulldogs because they've only been up by one score the entire game. They haven't been able to bring themselves up by more than one yet, but they're looking to do that here as they already lead by eight. One minute into the second half. Man in motion is Braden Santos. Quarterback run by Gustafson to the near sideline to the left. Gets hit and dropped out of bounds at the 34. Excuse me, that's the 33. Two yards short of the line to gain third and two. Sean Nelson and Jaron Norder get in there for the tackle defensively for the Eagles. Clock stops with 10.47 to play in the third. Still a ton of time left in this game, too, for both teams. Now Gustafson under center. Looks like a QB sneak. Cale Gustafson powering forward, and I don't know if he got there. I do not know if he got there. I think they're going to mark him a yard short, which doesn't matter, to be honest, because they'll go for it on fourth and one anyways. This was four-down territory. So Gustafson gets a yard, needed two. Fourth and one. you got to think they'll go for another quarterback sneak. As Gustafson runs up again, lines up under center. Looks like a QB sneak on fourth and one. They'll go for it. Gustafson powering forward, and I think he got enough for the first down. On a QB sneak, got across 
the 35 to the 36, and it is first and 10. Osceola keeping the drive alive. BDS just trying to get their defense off the field. They haven't really been able to stop Osceola yet. They've only stopped him on two drives, one of them being an interception by Carson Luce and the other one being a punt. Gustafson, the man in motion, going out to the near sideline, fake the handoff. Gustafson runs it over to the right on the far side, finds some running room, and picks up about six. Second and five, actually. But Gustafson has done so well with these with these short design quarterback runs, and they haven't been too short for him, but they've been designed to be short canes. But he's been really being able to find some holes from his offensive line. They've been able to allow him to find those seams and get up through them. So he gets across midfield to the BDS 38-yard line. Gustafson again has Demers to his left. Man in motion is Santos. He'll hand it off to Demers. He gets to the right sideline on the far sideline, and he gets wrapped up, brought down in bounds. Actually, mark him out of bounds. He'll come up about three yards short or so. It'll be third and three. They need to get down to about the 33. Four or the 33, and he's currently at the 40, or excuse me, the 36. So third and three. Looks like they might go for a quarterback design sneak again. Gustafson under center. They'll sneak him. Gustafson gets met, but then he powers forward, and I think he got the first down. He got met by the D line initially, and then used his strength to power forward and pick up another first down. Brady Knoll and Eli Weber on the tackle, but the gain is enough for the first down. Gain of three on the play. Gustafson, he's the man that you want in this situation. Getting a very long drive going here. A little less than four minutes into the first or into the second half, excuse me. BDS, they need something here. Either a fourth down turnover or even a turnover just on interception or a forced fumble. Gustafson runs it up the middle, finds some space and gets upended on a quick five-yard gain by Kale Gustafson, another design quarterback run. Nice tackle on that play by Keston Dixon. It's the second of the game. Inside the 30 now, down to the 28. Pick up the first down. They need to get down inside the 24. Gustafson now over 125 rushing yards on the game. Seven and a half to play in the third quarter. Man in motion, Gustafson fakes the handoff, flips it to the outside for Santos on the near sideline, running free and getting inside the 25-yard line, down to the 22. That is enough for a first down as a pickup of seven yards for Braden Santos. It looked like it was a handoff to Demers, then... Gustafson pulled it back, looked like he was going to run, then he flipped it out to the flat to Santos. So first and 10, they're nearing the 20-yard line at the 22, Osceola. This is so far a five-minute drive to open up the third quarter. Santos in motion, faked the handoff to Santos, looks like a false start as the play is stopped, and there's a flag on the play. False start on Osceola. Talked about the adjustment of the game being limit those penalties that drive you back. Go back it up five yards, back up far, five yards and it's going to be first and 15. I'll get backed up from the 21 to the 26. Actually doesn't look like they backed him up enough on that play. Ball was, was at the 22 and actually should be at the 27. Either way, first and 14. 6.40 to play. Gustafson sends a man in motion to Santos. Fake the handoff. Gustafson keeps it himself. Barrels forward and got met at about the line of scrimmage. He maybe would have gotten a yard or so. It'll be second and 13 at the 25. Nice tackle there by Eli Weber. He's now got three tackles on the game. Eli Weber, a junior, 6'3", 215. And this defensive line of BDS just trying to stay 
kind of fundamental and sound and stop Gustafson in his tracks. Gustafson goes empty. Man in motion is Santos. They flip it on a jet sweep. He goes left to right. Santos trying to get to the sideline. He gets wrapped up on the far sideline, out of bounds. Pick up about three. It'll be third and ten. Nice tackle on the play by Eli Weber. So Weber makes another nice play. Braden Santos on that jet sweep. Able to get some yardage here. Actually, it's going to be third and ten. 5.53 to play in the third quarter. A really long drive coming out here for Osceola to begin the second half. They have took over the entire first half of this third quarter. This drive, six minutes and seven seconds long. Gustafson faked the handoff. Quarterback run to the far sideline. Barrels forward inside the 20 and down to about the 17 or so. Either way, it's going to be short of the line to gain by about six yards. Fourth and six. They need to get down to about the 13, currently at the 17. Fourth and five for Osceola. You know they're going to go for this. But for BDS, this would be one of the biggest stops of the game so far to begin the second half. Will they go with Gustafson to run it? Will they go with Demers? Maybe Santos. Santos comes in motion. He'll go actually from the near sideline to the far side. I think, I think there is confusion by Gustafson and Santos, and timeout called by Luke Erickson and Osceola. We'll take a break with 5-11 to play in the third quarter. Osceola trying to extend their eight-point lead on Old Red. Welcome back to Old Red 99.5. This game is brought to you by Certified Truck and Trailer Repair in Geneva, Match Express, Food Shop and Oiler, their Sinclair Gas and Diesel Stations in Fairbury and Plymouth Irrigation, and Plymouth Electric. Fourth and five from the 23-yard line. See what Osceola can do. BDS needs a big stop. They trail by eight. Gustafson sends Santos in motion. He'll snap it. Gustafson palms it with one hand, runs to the left. Did he get to the first down marker? He's down at about the the 12. I don't know. This is going to be close. This is going to be really close. I think BDS might have stopped him. They did. They bring him down a half a yard short of the line to gain. So Gustafson goes to the near side on a design quarterback run. That snap wasn't the best, and he actually palmed it with one hand. And then he comes up just a yard or maybe a half a yard short. BDS with a huge stop. That drive took nearly seven minutes off of the clock. That's over half of the third quarter. But now BDS gets it. Do they have the momentum from that stop to tie this game up? Let's see what they go for here. Jaron Norder goes empty. Sends a man in motion. It's Braden Gardner. They'll hand it off on a jet sweep. He goes from right to left. Cuts up field. Gets about two yards. There's a flag on the play. So unofficially, there's a two-yard game, but this looks like it's in the vicinity of holding on BDS. This game is brought to you by Star Buco Insurance in Fairbury. Wells Implement in Plymouth. Husker Rehab in Fairbury. Beatrice Lincoln in Nebraska City. Sherbarth Ace Hardware in Fairbury, and Star Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning of Fairbury. So it will be holding on BDS. Backs them up pretty far here. They started this drive at about the 13. Now they're all the way back at the 3. First and 20 for the Eagles of BDS. Bruning Davenport Shickley. They have had a great season this year, especially the games that we've covered when they beat Superior 56-0 and beat Diller Odell 60-20. Now they're being tested on the, in the postseason by Osceola. Norder has got Bolte to his right. Norder runs it. Bolte goes ahead and tries to give him a block. Norder is getting pressured. Excuse me, it's actually Loose. Loose getting forward and ends up getting about two yards or so out to the 10. There's a flag on the play again, and this just seems like it might be holding on BDS again. Loose. Actually, you know what? That's going to actually, looks like it's going to go on Osceola here. Wow. So it looks like it was in the vicinity of holding. It's not. It'll go on Osceola. Loose would have picked up about seven yards or so on that run, but it's a nice pickup there on the penalty, and it's going to be first and nine after the face mask. Actually, excuse me, it's second and nine. Ball at the 15-yard line. And we get a whistle. And that was the far side referee trying to discuss something with the referee standing back at the goal line. 
think. Okay, so they were confused whether it was first or second down, and they mark them second and nine. They need to get all the way out to the 23 or so. Currently at the currently at the 15. They're actually still discussing whether or not this is a first or a second. They said it was second, then they second guessed themselves, no pun intended, and now they say first. So it's going to be first down and nine. And the clock runs with 4.34 to play in the third quarter. Handoff to Luce, getting up field and getting dragged down. A short gain of one yard on the handoff to Carson Luce. Mesto on the, on the uh, tackle. So second and about eight yards. The BDS, they need a big drive here. They really do. Trailing by eight, but it, points have, especially here in the second half and late in the first half, they were hard to come by for the Eagles. Osceola fans trying to get loud here. Norder on second and eight. Play action for Luce. Norder looking downfield. Dumps it off in the flat to the Luce on the near sideline. Cuts across the field to the middle of the field. And he's going all the way to the cross of the far sideline. Across the 30 and down to the 33. Carson Luce, big time play. Ends up picking about 15 yards or so up on that play. And the crazy thing was is that Aiden Fiesel was trying to get there and make the tackle with the linebacker and ended up getting blocked by the official. And that's why Luce was able to find so much space and run across the field. Big pick of about 15 yards or so. First and 10 at the 33. Coming out nearing midfield. Norder looks like an option play. Gets it out to Luce. Luce trying to get up field on the near sideline. Gets wrapped up, brought down to the 30. Four, pick up of about one on the play. Second and nine. The 310 to play in the third. This is looking like it could be coming down to the wire, folks. Stay tuned. This is going to be an exciting game. After this, also, we have number nine, Clarkson Lee, and number eight, Johnson County Central at 6 p.m. kickoff, 5.45 p.m. pregame show. Jake Partecki in the house here on Old Red. Ready to do that game for us. Double header for playoff action today on Old Red 99.5. Right now, number seven, Osceola, leads it over number 10, BDS. 22-14, late in the third. Loose on a Wildcat snap. And Loose tripped over his own feet as he was trying to cut up field. Up the middle of the field and ends up getting about a yard. He could have gotten more. Instead, it's third and seven. This game is brought to you by Chapel Roofing in Fairbury, Riverside Chevrolet in Fairbury, Jefferson Community Health and Life in Fairbury, and Members Own Credit Union in Beatrice and Lincoln. Third and seven. Got to think this is four down territory for BDS, nearly at midfield. In their white uniforms, they're the road team, but their crowd has been loud tonight. Sun's setting behind us. Third and seven. Norder sends a man in motion. It's loose. Jet sweep. Loose going to the near sideline. Loose runs into his own man and has nowhere to go. Didn't get farther than the line of scrimmage. Maybe a loss on the play. Either way, it's fourth down. Nice tackles in there for Hayden LaValle, as well as Braxton Mestel. One of the guys in there, too, Aiden Fiesel. Got stopped by the line judge on making a tackle earlier on in the drive. This time he says, there's no line judge stopping me this time. Fourth down and nine. They're at their own 34. This is a long way to go, and it looks like they're going to punt it. Braden Santos standing back to return for Osceola. Jaron Norder on to punt from his own 22. Low snap for Norder. Gets it. Boots it away. Santos makes the catch at about the 12-yard line. Goes to the far sideline across the 20. Wrapped up. Brought down out of bounds to the 25. Nice return there for Santos. We'll take a quick break with 102 to go in the third. Big time possession coming up here for Osceola on Old Red. Welcome back to Old Red's coverage of number 10 BDS. And number 7, Osceola. Osceola gets the ball back off of a punt. And on the first play of the drive, Braden Santos gets a carry to the far sideline, picks up a yard. Second and nine at the 24. 40 seconds to play in the third. This is going to set up for an interesting and exciting fourth quarter. 30 seconds to go. Gustafson takes a snap. Play action. Looking downfield. He's getting pressured off the edge. Gustafson gets wrapped up, and he gets brought down initially, unless he didn't, and he did. 
Wow, Gustafson was getting tackled there on that play by two guys, Keston Dixon as well as Tanner Bolte. He was getting wrapped up for a solid four or five seconds right there, and he still stayed up on his feet. It looked like he was going to pitch the ball too for a minute, but thought wisely of it, didn't do it. That'll end the third quarter after a big loss on the sack by Keston Dixon. Oh boy, folks, we're going to have a pretty fun fourth quarter coming up here. Coming up next, 22-14, Osceola leading it over BDS. Fourth quarter's up next on All Red. <laughs> 